if I'm not as an employer, I'll just help my the career develop in numerous ways. As part of the apprenticeship scheme, we, we do level 3 D tech and then we progress through that to onto your HNZs, HNDs, uh, as well as doing your MVQs along the way as well, which I'm currently doing MVQ level 5. And towards the end of your course, you do work towards professional membership um, of a professional body. And in my case, it would be Institute of Chartered Civil Engineering Surveyors. Going forward for my career, um, I just want to strive to be the best that I can be. You know, I, I want to do the best in day in, day out work. You know, hopefully climb the ladder as best I can, um, achieve professional membership of a professional body. Um, hopefully get my degree, um, that would be nice of the cake in terms of academic side of things and just really work to my full potential. My journey in civil engineering um, was different from most, I actually attended college after school to do architecture. Within that course though we'd, we'd done a quantity surveying unit and it was actually that unit I decided I preferred more than more than any that we were touching upon uh, throughout the course. So. It was then I decided I'd rather pursue a career doing quantity surveying and architecture. And then I seen that Bam Nuttall was hiring apprentices for a quantity surveyor program. And I applied and was fortunate enough to be accepted for that. Currently the project I'm on is the Highland Mainline, which is part of the Highland Enhancement Program um, that was awarded to Bam Nuttall which, across the whole of north of Scotland. Uh, this stretch of rail spans from Aviemore to Pitlochry and it's essentially where uh, constructing platform extensions to allow for larger trains to, to shorten the journey time from Aviemore to Pitlochry to further up north. My role on that job is simply to manage all subcontractors uh, within the project. The, the large span of works was completed by a civil engineering subcontractor, so managing them, there was also the M&E side of it that had to be managed.